Hey guys! So, today's video is going to be really quick and straightforward. It's going to be how to use Liquidur. I do get asked quite a bit what my favorite fertilizers are. I do have a video I will put up here. And I do just want to clarify in this video, I keep referring to Liquidur as a fertilizer, but it's actually a complete plant food that you won't have to use along with any other product. It'll supply your plants with all of the nutrients they need to really thrive. So yeah, ignore that I keep calling it a fertilizer. Okay, bye here somewhere as well as down in the description. If you'd like to see a more detailed video on how I fertilize, although it's not too detailed because I'm not a very detail oriented person. It's just a little bit more detailed. How many times can I say detail? A lot, I guess. Anyway, this is going to be how to use my favorite fertilizer ever, Liquidurt. Before Liquidurt, I was using all sorts of things. You guys know I love the Alaska Fish Fertilizer, which I still do use that on my outdoor plants. This kind of has the same results, even a little bit better results than the fish fertilizer and it doesn't stink which is excellent. Thank you, Liquid. Oh, it's backwards. Thank you, Liquidert. There are instructions on the back, but I do, I do think the instructions are a little bit confusing. Maybe it's just me. Not an instruction oriented person either, but I figured it out. If you are interested in picking this up but are worried it's a little bit too expensive, I do actually have a code with them. It's just an affiliate code. This video isn't sponsored or anything. And I bought this with my own money, I've been using it for a year before I decided to accept the offer of getting an affiliate code. And I still highly recommend it, even if you decide not to use my code, although the code does help me a little bit too. Anyway, the code is Harley G underscore 25 for 25% 25 off. Anyway, okay, Liquidurt, let's get into how to use it. Okay, so step number one, use code Harley G underscore 25 at checkout on liquidurt.com for 25% off your order. And once you get it in the mail, it comes in a pouch like this. As you can hear, mine is actually a liquid at this point, but when you receive it, it's going to be a powder. So be really careful when you're opening the top, maybe kind of tap it so any of the powder that's near the top will drop to the bottom because it's very, very finely milled and it does kind of poof a little bit when you open it the first time. At least it did for me. Anyway, so then you're going to take one cup of filtered water. I just get it out of my fridge and you're going to add it into this pouch and shake it up. So that makes this into a concentrate, and then here's what you do from there. Oh, and one other thing about the concentrate, keep it in a cooler place and out of direct sunlight. It doesn't expire, so you'll be able to use it for years and years, depending on how much, how many plants you need that need fertilized and how much you water them. Just keep it cool and out of the sun. Okay, so next you're going to need a gallon container. Ryan and I don't drink regular milk. We drink almond milk, which usually comes in cartons, but we do have family members that drink milk, so maybe you could ask some friends or family for like a gallon milk jug. This cap full, you're gonna pour one cap full into that jug. Oh, okay. Add it, and then just fill up the gallon with filtered water, and then I will like, put water in the cap and dump it in there just to get the leftover out since you can't really just like dump it all out. So yeah, this is just a cap full of regular water to get the extra out. Okay, so this is what we have. Looks a little poopy, but it's not. Well, maybe it is, I don't know. Okay, now I'm gonna take you over here to the refrigerator to fill her up. Again, I use fridge water screw it on and keep it aside wherever you keep like your plant materials. So then that's the mix you're actually going to use to add into the water you use to water your plants. So I have a separate gallon container that I use to go around and water my plants. I will say I'm not always like super specific on using the gallon. Sometimes I use just like a cup and I'll add a little bit in, but by this point I've been using liquid art long enough to know what like the water needs to look like. Like the amount of liquid art I add slightly, slightly changes the color, but it's not by much. So my eyes are now finely tuned to be able to tell that color. If you mix it according to the instructions, like in the beginning, then you will get used to how much you have to add. So you'll be pretty good at like eyeballing it. And this won't burn your plants, even if you add a little bit too much, as long as you're not doing it over a long period of time. It really won't be of detriment if it's just like an every once in a while kind of a thing. Well, I use a gallon container for this as well for my watering container, but there are four quarts in a gallon. So for each quart, you're going to add two tablespoon of the mix per quart. Every time you order Liquider, it does actually come with one of these these things. Roughly three of these, depending on how hard you squeeze it to pick it up is Three is one tablespoon. So I'm gonna go ahead and add 24 little squirts of this into my container. Okay, and now I'm just gonna add water to this from the fridge like before. 
yeah, it's that easy. And then you can go ahead and water your plants. And it's actually recommended that you use liquid dirt with every single watering. That's what I do. And it's really easy and straightforward. And since it doesn't burn the plants and you can use it every single time, it's like nice to squeeze into a routine. Like it's just habit every single time I water now, instead of having to be like, oh, did I fertilize this month? Oh, did I fertilize the other week or not? I can't remember because this brain doesn't work the way it used to work as well as it should. But yeah. Yeah, that's how you use liquid dirt. My plants honestly are really flourishing from it. They do really, really well. I have so many Hoyas in bloom right now, which I do give full credit to the liquid dirt. My plants genuinely grow so much more quickly now. And I do give all that credit to liquid dirt. I know this probably sounds so sponsored and I promise you it's not. Like even if you don't use my code, I want you to try this product because it's really, really good. How many uses does it say it gets? Oh yeah, okay, so on here it says this, like the concentrate, the powder that you added water to is good for up to 50 gallons of mix. And then the mix makes over 50 gallons. And then let's see, it doesn't say how many, it doesn't say how many like uses come from the mix, but I mean, you can tell that's a lot. Anyway, it'll go a long way, even though it is a little bit more expensive, like outright. Definitely worth it, really awesome product. Plants love it. So that's why I wanted to show you how to use it because I know I've had a few questions. Anyway, that's how you use Liquid Earth. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. And yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.